Hello guys, Xylem here. So, um, I've got something different for you guys today. I've got, um, well, I'm using mods, uh, quite different to a normal computer craft video. Um, and today we're going to be looking at uh, big reactors. So, big reactors, I'm pretty sure everyone knows, but if you don't, it's a mod where you can make pretty big reactors that store thousands of RF that you can, you know, make pretty cheap and the best part about big reactors since it is Xylem Gaming um, is the fact that it has a computercraft API built into it. So as you can see on the monitor here every one second it is um, telling me the readout of the reactor and it's telling me whether or not it's on and it is. It's also telling me the percentage and you know a little progress bar on how much it's done. And if we look into the computer here, I've made a little basic program. So if I type stop, it's going to stop my program, and it's going to say program stopped. And if we look over here, we can see that the terminal on the, the reactor is red, which means that it's offline. So, um, yeah, this is just a little basic, um, well, I say basic, it took me a bit to figure out how to get it to work, but... This is a uh, program that you can use uh, for just basically controlling a reactor. Um, it'll only control one though. I think I will make a right program on big reactors, but for now, if we have a look inside my reactor program, I've put a little bit of commenting in here, not too much. This is all you're going to see in terms of comments on this program. So um, you can see here I'm just declaring which is which and declaring some methods or some um, get methods really because uh, I didn't know how um, big reactors worked and you know if you use this method here this little function pretty simple um, <clears throat> it will just basically give you the entire readout of what's what on the API which is you know pretty handy to know um, I have a draw function here because monitors don't let you draw progress bars unless you make your own draw function um, running can just go away for now so you can run well you can comment out this methods and it will give you the readout so if I show you what it looks like if I hit run and I press any button you can see it will keep on saying what's what and it will go all the way all the way down so I'm just gonna fill this up there we go all right let's put stop then in this program um, so we have main, which is of course the main part of the program. It's going to figure out what's what. It's going to give us a nice print on our um, on our on our monitor, and um, it's just going to sleep one second. You can edit this to whatever you want. By the way, it doesn't have to be one second. If you want to, you know, cause a bit less lag on the server, you might want to put this to five or six. But if you don't put a sleep on it, you will crash the program. So don't put it to zero. Uh, mon.clear just to refresh the page and then we go on to input now this is the fancy part here because this is where you can put in stop off start these are all the commands that you can use that are in strings here on start stop and off so if you put stop you're going to end the program and you're going to turn off the reactor if you put off you'll just turn off the reactor if you put on you'll just turn on the reactor start as well will also turn on the reactor so if you press stop, uh, it's going to set the reactor to false. In this case, it's going to turn it off. It's going to clear the monitor. It's going to go to the first line on the monitor, and it's going to say program stopped. Um, this is a repeat loop. I'm not quite sure if I've shown you what a repeat loop is, but basically it's like a while loop, except it can close itself in the program. So it's not going to... Well, it's going to continuously do um, a while loop until a certain criteria is met. In this case, we're re repeating input equals read, so seeing what the user types in, until input equals stop, which is also there. Now, of course, this executes before this, so that's why all this code's able to run before the loop stops. And then, now I have shown this in a previous episode, if you haven't, I recommend you go watch it now. Um, parallel. Parallel is, well, strings, or um, being able to run more than one program at once. Uh, so, 
Well, no, it's not strings. It's a thread. A thread, sorry. Um, it's a thread. You understand why I got thread and string mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've made an episode on threads before. Um, this one is a wait for any thread. So it's going to continuously run this program, running two things at once, two functions, until one of them stops. And they're both while well loops, so they're going to keep on going. Um, but that's why I stop here. We'll actually stop the program. But anyway, yeah. Um, if we go back and we run this again, I'm going to have a look at what we've got here. We've got get connected. It's going to see if we're connected to a reactor. Get active is going to see whether or not it's true or false that the reactor is on. So it's not going to give you a string. It's going to give you a Boolean, true or false, or one or zero. Um, get fuel temperature. So that's going to see how hot the temperature is. Get casing temperature self-explanatory, get energy stored, self-explanatory, fuel amount, waste amount, get fuel max amount, or amount max, um, basically how much fuel you can store. And that will tell you how much you currently have, get fuel amount. Uh, get control rod name, you can customize control rod names, so that's why that's the uh, number of control rods to see how many you actually have. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much it. Big reactors. Um, so when it comes to the big reactor API, this isn't just the only single API there is. Um, let's turn the reactor on and just have a look at this whilst I'm talking. Um, so when it comes to big reactors, there's two types of, well, yeah, two types of API. There's one for the actual big reactor, the reactor that produces energy from a energy source called Eulorium, and there is another API um, for turbines. And turbines basically are steam powered and will produce ridiculous amounts of energy for you, but you need somewhere to store them. Um, but yeah, turbines, they're the next step on from a big reactor. You're able to convert your normal reactor into a steam generating reactor that can then be that steam can then be pumped on to yeah spin a turbine so next episode i will be um, going into how to write an api well not an api and a program for turbine control but for now i'm going to comment out this methods and i'm going to put it on pastebin for you guys so you can use it in your own worlds so yeah uh, i've been xylem um i hope you in enjoyed this if you did give it a thumbs up just tells me that you like modded stuff on computer craft as well as just normal uh computer craft and yeah i'll see you guys later